not a lot of opportunity for young people and Muay Thai provides that. Uh, and as such, we see a lot of people, fighters come out of that region with massive records. Uh, and some of, the, some of the best to do it, even some of the current uh, fighters on the, the circuit are from that area. And uh, here we have Nung Mai Lok Marie and Muto. Man, he's stepping up in experience tonight, and he has to. You know, the male bantamweight division is just so thin in this part of the world. And kudos to him for taking on this challenger. He's going to need to uh, pull some tricks out of the bag. This is our third fight between Australia and Thailand. Domination 26 underway. Nice leg kick by Mu. We know Mudo's tough, so he's uh, from Burma, Myanmar. He's a, from the Karen Hill tribe, which is like a sort of ethnic group that's in uh, Burma, the lower side, which is kind of near Thailand as well. And like anyone who knows that type of tribe, they like usually start smoking when they're very young. They have kids when they're very young, and it's a hard life for him. And um, he's obviously been a refugee, come over to here, and uh, yeah, he's doing awesome, man. And that's why he's tough. You know, anyone who fights him knows that he's a very tough fighter to fight. Yeah, absolutely. I've worked with a lot of uh, Burmese Karan kids down in Melbourne and man they're just like natural fighters like adversity uh, isn't relative like to them like it is to us uh, and as we see here um, Mudo stepping up to face a big challenge but taking it in a stride he's landed some good leg kicks Lok Ni standing in the southpaw stance now as he slams a left kick into the body of Mudo that's it, he's been a fighter his whole life and he's just bringing it to him with those heavy leg kicks. And man, look at the size of his pins. They're like, they're huge. He's got the size of, like, his, his legs are like a 90 kg man's legs <laughs> attached to a 54 kg male man's weight. It's insane. And we've already seen, oh, that's a hard kick. That's beautifully timed. Just drew Mudo forward and slammed that one in. And you can see instantly Mudo just lacked a little bit of power on his return. But there's already some damage to that left leg of uh, Lok Won Mi from an earlier low kick. Lands his own, good kick. Two, three, and finishes low again. Approaching this one uh, with some real fighting spirit and a willingness to get it done. Yeah, I think 100% Mundo needs to keep that up. Just keep that pace up. You know, give him something he's not used to. Those heavy shots and it's going to keep coming at him. This is another three round fight, so why not make the most of it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, great dump there. Just got his, his low hips served him really well. They just got his hips lower than Lok Bunni, uh stepped through and just took his weight back down over the top. Good, good technique. Tries to sway out of the way there. His legs are too big. They just carried him backwards. Oh, great. Straight right hand to the body. That might have hurt. I think that might have hurt Lok Bunni to the body. Hands, nice, hands a little bit lower now. I think that might have winded him as he stepped in with a hard right hand. He goes back to the point. Yeah, look, his posture is a little bit broken up against the ropes. Good, good step up knee, just trying to keep keep Mudo off him at the moment. I like the intensity that Mudo's bringing. He's not letting him set, you know. His uh, not mine wants to do these heavy kicks because they've landed, right? But Mudo, if he can just stay on him, just don't let him get that rhythm. I think it's yeah, it's gonna it's gonna go a long way for him in the decision. Yeah, absolutely. I'm wondering if the judges, I'm wondering if the judges noticed that big moment late in that uh, first round with the big punch to the body. Uh, we'll see if he follows that up in the second round. We're back for round number two. This one on our sheet here, we have uh, five by three. I'll tell you what, they've started hard and fast, especially the boy from the pit, Ludo. This one also brought to us by Sinclair Plumbing, and he, I feel like he might have rearranged Look, Bunny's plumbing there for a second with his, with his boxing. The pit, Blair Smith in the corn, was asking him to use his hands more this round uh, and box. He certainly had success as he gets a good tentacle dump in Nungmai's home corner there. Yeah, my mistake, the way the boys started the first round, I thought it was a three round fight, but yeah, make no mistake, it's a five round, but they're still going hard. Oh, good right hand over the top. It gets the sweep, but it's not clean. Uh, not clean, but there was a good right hand in amongst that. Oh, oh. triples up, Manichai to the lead leg. <laughs> 
And Muto turning it on here. Round number two. And looking strong. In the clinch there was Mung Mai. Feel like maybe just the, the pace might have just caught. Oh, well, that's a bit of a foul, that one. That's a bit of a judo throw. It was a good judo throw. Probably get a <laughs> green belt on Monday. But I feel like Mung Mai might have just the pace of this fight, the rhythm that it started at might be catching him a little bit off guard. Yeah, just that upper body strength that Mudo has, just to be able to dump him at ease. I really like the style that he's putting in. If they close up, he's going to dump him. Oh, a good, a, a good liver shot and to the again. body. Wow, looking at look a great form, Mudo. And I think he, he's just showed it, you know. He's fighting the tie that's used to that slow star, but Mudo came out hard, man. He broke that rhythm, and I think a lot of people can learn from that. You know, if you're fighting the Thai veteran that's had a few fights, they're going to start slow. So you want to try something different where you can actually stay on them. Absolutely, and it's working for him at the moment. Hands are looking sharp. He's looked good in the clinch. Oh, is his posture broken there? Oh! And the knee, it, the knee missed from what when he, it, they end up getting the thigh to the face, which knocked the mouth guard uh, free of his mouth. That that uh, technique is legit as long as the glove of Mudo hasn't yet touched the ground and the referee hasn't come in to separate it. The referee was a little bit slow in that uh, instance, uh, but no harm done. Mouth guard kind of wiped off on Blair's shorts, and uh, we're back. Another dump attempt there from Mudo. It's not clean though. When the judges are appraising the efficacy of those techniques, they want to see nice, clean, effortless oh, yeah. techniques. Oh, big hard knee to the back there and breaks Mudo's posture as well. Big moment in this round. Oh, uppercut left hook from Mudo and eats a, a switch kick for his troubles. Right hand over the top. Good strong clinch. Oh, good strong clinch from Lokwani. Looking, looking much Very stronger nice now game. at the end of the second. Yeah, they got that back clinch, you know, turned to his back, just that deliver that hard knee, which counts. Oh, gets his back taken again too to finish off that second round. And I think that was smart by um, coming uh, pro scene at the moment, guys. With five to, five to ten fights, and they're all starting to come through. Make sure you check that out. But right now we've got round number three. Of this point number five, great little trip there from Moi, 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 Moi Do. Now listen, we've got five by Ooh. three on our sheets, but I have a feeling both these boys are approaching this like the third and final round. Yeah. So we'll see what happens as Moi Do just Ooh. comes up and over the top of the left hook, and here we go again. Lock, Nong Moi, Lock Ni back into the clinch where he looked so strong in the second round. You would not think these guys are 54 kilos, hey? <laughs> <laughs> not at all. I'm like literally twice their weight. Yeah. Both of these guys' weight. Just coming out hard, you know. The big heavy shots. It's good. I like seeing it as well. Like, especially with the, the Thai guy, he likes to want to go a bit slower. Just hit him with some flurries. Heavy shots on the end. And now he seems to be working for him this round, Mudo. Yeah, it, that was a that was a big um, little segment uh, there that Nongmai had. He, he crashed a, and a, a kick into Mudo, which broke Mudo's posture, uh, landed a good knee to his back, and then just framed off to kind of bag that little excerpt of the fight and breaks his posture again, looking real strong in the clinch now. Jab and an uppercut from Mudo. Lock Bunny, a strong lock on his neck. Checks, checks it hard, but Mudo's kick so strong, it broke his posture. Those huge legs of Mudo just crashing into the shin, that's gonna tickle tomorrow. And again, the, the right kick to the body, gets a lock on the neck, steps in with a knee. Oh, referee jumped in. Referee jumps in there to separate that, didn't, didn't like the look of it. Okpuni and Southpaw for a minute. Back to Orthodox. He's playing. Nungmai's playing like he's ahead. He's playing a game like he thinks he's ahead in the fight. He quite, he quite well could be. He's a lot more balanced this round. Less dumps. Looks quite strong. Yeah, yeah getting into that clinch quite easily and then just staying balanced and getting the better shot as well. 
Yeah, just look, glancing up at the clock there was not my... That's the thing. I know like in the stadiums too in Thailand, like the balance factor, if you're more balanced than your opponent, usually means you, yeah, you're, you're the better fighter or the judges will tip you as a better fighter. That's right, yeah. Nook no, no, my looking to just buy a little bit of clock time now, but I have a little Talk bit of work to do as he's, <laughs> but Balan, as he's tagged with a big hard right hand, breaks the posture of Mudo again. Veteran stuff there, just making the referee pry him off Mudo. And it's definitely going two more, because yeah. that is the end of round three. And thank goodness, <laughs> because it's shaping up to be a really interesting final two rounds. In round four, this is the third of our Australia versus Thailand fights. It's one apiece so far. Oh, touches gloves, cheeky left kick, and digs it into the liver of Mudo. Mudo's had success with his hands. He's had success with uh, some clever little dumps in the clinch. But as the fight wears on, as Nung Mai starts to find his groove, he's been scoring hard. Oh, oh, hard shot there. Hard shot there. Oh, and again. Strong in the clinch again. Nung Mai just taking his back. Good hard knee, but he was wobbled there a second ago. Mudo is so dangerous with his hands. Oh, and a good step up. Sock nut lead elbow from Lok Bumi. Oh, good kick and a big dump, catch and dump there from Mudo. And that's good for him because it managed he managed to get his back off the ropes. He steps in, gets almost gets a run up into that right hand, just sinks it into the bread basket. But every time now they get in the clinch, he's having his, his posture broken and getting some back exposure. The boy from Buran province. Yeah, Nong Mai Lok Bui. Nong Mai is back to that south ball stance. Good that he can change it a little bit. I thought he would be hunting that left kick or that left knee. But then we seen Mudo sort of predict that and he got him with that punch. So he's got to be careful when he throws that. Yeah. I, I, there he goes again with that overhand. Yeah, and, and Lokbuni, when he goes to the south ball, he, he's able to get his hand on top of Mudo's and he's using it to step in with a uh, right elbow over the top. He also seems to favor the, the south ball, the open stance position get into the clinch. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. A little bit lazy there with his lead hand. I reckon he's wobbled. Yeah, he does look wobbled. Oh, oh and again. Yeah, he's wobbly. Masterful with disguising it. And look, he might look to stall this clinch up a little bit longer. Look, he's going to make yeah. the referee prime off. Yeah, I think he, was, he didn't like that at all. Nah, that was a clean shot on the chin. Some huge moments in this round for Mudo coming into the fourth. This fight back and forth, back and forth. Tags him with the right hand. I think he's found a home for that right oh. hand, Mudo. If he can keep setting that shot up, he's got a quite, quite a bit of power on it. Yeah, he's got on a laser beam. Gets the sweep there, but look what me holds on to the ropes. Steps up with a left kick. That was a good left kick too. Needs to be careful. Not my his hands come down when he's throwing that kick. And that yes. is coming straight back towards him. At a thousand miles an hour, the right hand of Mudo from the red corner. The pit screaming at their charge. Getting him to come forward. Oh, big moment at the end of that round there. But look what me takes his back hard knee to the back. There's some business to take care of right here in Center Ring Mini T. I'm excited for this last round. I think it's up for the grabs, you know. Whoever's going to go harder this round could very well get the victory. Yeah, it's been such a hard pace right from the get go. Oh, good sweep. Ends up on top two. Stand and smartly jogs back to the center. Mudo. It's a good sweep. The, the, the pace has been hard from this, right from the get-go. And you feel like Nung Mai probably is caught off guard by that a little bit. But he's starting to uh, come into his own now. He's won some huge shots throughout the fight. And he's still here playing a good strategic game against the more powerful Mudo. Oh, big moment. Takes his back. Jumps in. Big knee. The judges will like that. And it, 
and it loses balance momentarily. Gloves touch the mat. Hard left kick to the body, which falls Mudo. Comes back with a hard left hand over the top. Digs to the body, Mudo. Oy. A big dump over in the neutral corner. Tit for tack action here. Mudo versus Nungmai Lokmoni, the third of our Australia versus Thailand fights. Mudo steps forward, heavy breath, thuds a leg kick into Lokmoni. Oh, good dump there, catch and dump. And that definitely scores in the, um, I guess, Muay Thai. Any dump in the last round does pay good scoring points, especially in the stadiums. Not, not too sure about WA, can be a little bit different, but um, yeah, I know the sweep in the last round does pay a lot of scores. Yeah, there was a left hand to the liver. There a second Oi! ago. The nice shot. Look, Moni was protecting his body. And Mudo exposes the head, steps in hard right hand. Swick goes flying here at the Perth Convention Centre. There was some clean shots that Nong Mai just took on the chin just there. Nong Mai's head is made of cement and he takes another huge left hand. He's just hanging his chin out for him. Final 30 seconds. Thudding right hand over the top. Both boys trading leather in the center of the ring. <laughs> Again, swing and a miss. Oh, hey. Hard right kick from Mudo. Oh, big oh, left hey. hand over the top. Misses with the biggest right, overhand right of the century. Lockwood, he ties him up over in the red corner, has a quick look at the clock. 10 seconds to go. Mudo digs to the liver. Oh, wow. Oh, what a war that last round descended in. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, that was just highlight reel stuff from start to finish. Australia nudge ahead in this competition.